In this video, I will be teaching you how to factorize cubic expressions using three different methods. So the thing with cubic expressions, and I have one written out here, is that when you know one factor, then you're able to find the rest of the factors. And another thing that I want you to recall is that is the factor theorem. So that for p of c, if it's equal to zero, then x minus c is a factor. And using this law, using the factor theorem, we're able to find our first factor, and using that, we're able to find the rest of our factors for our equation. So the, f the way that we go about this is we initially try to guess and check different values that could fit in. So for example, we say that possibly we could have x minus 1, so we try p of 1. And then we plug that in, we get 1 minus 8 plus 5 plus 14, which is not equal to 0. Then we can try p of negative 1, and this is equal to negative 1 minus 8 minus 5 plus 14, and this is 14, so this is equal to 0. Therefore, p minus 1, or x plus 1, is a factor. So now that we have our first factor, or x plus 1, we're able to find the rest of the factors. And there are three different methods of doing this. The first is guessing and checking. So guess and check. That's method one. And you can probably guess from the name what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be guessing different values that we can plug into our equation, p of x. So we plug in values into p of x and try to find the other factors the same way that we found our first factor. Now we don't have to guess completely random numbers. A quick trick is to find the last number in our equation, so that's 14, or the only whole number, and we find the factors of that. So we have 14, and the factors of 14 we get 1, 2, and 7, and then we take the positive or negative of both of these, so positive or negative and then positive or negative, and we just plug these in as a test. So we already tried positive and negative one, and we got one factor. Now we can try positive and negative two. So p of two is equal to um, two cubed minus eight times two squared plus five times two plus 14. And this gives us 8 minus 8 times 4, which is 32, plus 10, plus 14. And this is equal to 0. From this we get that x minus 2 is a factor, once again, using the factor theorem. Next we can try another factor of 14, so we can do negative 2 p of negative 2. This is equal to negative 2 cubed minus 8 times negative 2 squared plus 5 times negative 2 plus 14. This gives us negative 8 minus 8 times 4 uh, minus 10 plus 14. What is this? This is minus 8 minus 32 minus 10 plus 14, and this is not equal to 0, so this is not a factor. Next, we can try another factor, or last factor, 14, which is 7, positive and negative 7. So we'll first try positive 7. Let's say that we have p of 7. This gives us a value of, let's see, 7 cubed minus 8 times 7 squared plus 5 times 7 plus 14. What does this give us? This is uh, 343 minus 8 times 49 minus 35 plus 14. So we get 343 minus 392 minus 35 plus 14. I'm sorry, this should be plus over here. Plus 35, this gives us um, 
378 plus 14 is 392. So 392 minus 392 is equal to 0. Therefore we get that x minus 7 is also a factor. Therefore, therefore our equation or this equation over here can be rewritten as, let's get all of our factors, we have x minus 1 or x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 7 and this is equal to x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x plus 14. So this method isn't necessarily my favorite one and while it's pretty simple you can just plug in the different factors of the last number it's does, it doesn't always work very well because if there are decimal places as one of the factors, so for example if 1.5 is one of the factors, then it's very difficult to account for that. The second method, method 2, is by doing long division. So this is method 2. So let's rewrite our equation. We have x cubed minus 8x squared minus 5x plus 14 and up above we showed that x minus 1 is a factor so you still have to guess on the first one. So what we want to do now is we want to do long division of this from this because we know that what this being a factor essentially means that x cubed minus 8x squared minus 5x plus 14 this is plus again and this can be divided by x minus 1. That's essentially what being a factor means, so we're going to do long division to find out what happens when we divide it. So we have our equation, once again, x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x plus 14, and then divided by x plus 1. Divide this, we get x squared, then multiply, we get x cubed plus x squared subtract and we get minus 9x squared plus 5x plus 14 next we divide so 9x squared by x we get minus 9x minus and then we multiply ni minus 9x squared and minus 9x squared subtract this gives us um, 14x plus 14 and then once again we need to divide so we get plus 14 and then we multiply 14x plus 14 and this loop gives us a remainder of 0. So this equation is equal to x squared minus 9x plus 14. And now all we need to do is factorize this. So to factorize x squared minus 9x plus 14, we get um, minus 7 and minus 2 is the factor of 14. So x squared minus 2x minus 7x plus 14, x times x minus 2 minus 7 into x minus 2, we get x minus 7 into x minus 2. And that's when we factorize this, and now we get our final equation is x plus 1 times x minus 7 times x minus 2. Just to clarify how we got to this, so essentially what we did up here, or if we rephrase this equation, we can write, we can bring this over, and multiply it by both sides. So we get x minus 1 times x squared minus 9x plus 14 is equal to x cubed da 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 da. And we just factorize this equation over here to be x minus 7 times x minus 2. And like as, that, as such we got our final answer which matches what we have above. Now moving on to the third method. The third method is matching coefficients. 
So we have our equation, once again, x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x plus 14. And we have our factor, x minus 1. And we know that x minus 1 times some number or some quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, gives us our final answer is equal to this. And once again, this is plus 1. So what we essentially want to do is we want to match the coefficients, so that means a, b, and c, with the coefficients that we have up here. So how do we do that? Let's move this down a bit. Well, we know that for a, when we multiply ax squared by x, we get a x cubed. And this is the only x cubed product that we'll have. Therefore, the coefficient of x cubed over here should match the coefficient of x cubed in our equation up above. So therefore, since ax cubed matches x cubed, so this is equal to x cubed, therefore a is equal to 1. Next, we have to find our value for b. Well, we know that when we multiply b by 1, we get bx. And we also know that when we multiply x by c, we get plus cx. And these are the only two numbers in which we have coefficients of x. So for bx and cx, we have coefficients of x. And now what we need to do is we need to look up at our equation. We have 5x over here, and bx plus cx are only coefficients for x. Therefore, this is equal to 5x. Therefore, b plus c is equal to 5. And now we need to solve for c in order to solve for b as well. So to solve for c, we see that our only whole number, or our only whole, our only whole number product that we'll have is 1 times c. Every other number will have some x in it. So therefore, 1 times c is equal to our only whole number up here, which is 14. So 14, therefore c is equal to 14. And now that we have our value for c, which is 14, we can solve for b. So we get b plus 14 is equal to 5. Therefore, b is equal to negative 9. And we can plug this into ax squared plus bx plus c. And from this, we get a is equal to 1. So x squared plus bx, so plus minus 9 times x, that's just minus 9x plus 14. And this is our second factor. So if you look up here, that matches what we got over here. And what we would do now is we would factorize this again into x minus 7 times x minus 2. And we would get our final answer of x cubed minus 8x squared plus 5x plus 14 is equal to x plus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 7. Okay, now just as a quick recap, when we're factorizing cubic equations, there are three different methods of solving it. So the first step always is to find our first factor. So in this case, we found that x plus 1 is our factor. The first method is to do guess and check. So we simply plug in different values of into p of x, which are factors of 14, and we try and find the different factors through guessing and checking. Then our second method is through long division. So what we do here is we divide the factor that we found. So we divide x plus 1 by our whole entire equation in order to get a quadratic equation. And then we simplify that into our factors and ultimately get our final answer. The third method is by matching the coefficients. So once again, once we find our original factor, 
what we want to do is we want to multiply it by a quadratic equation, so a squared plus bx plus c, and then we multiply, or then we try and find the coefficients a, b, and c in order to get our quadratic equation. And as I mentioned earlier, the first method of guess and check is my probably my least favorite, and that's because if there is a fraction or a decimal, then it'll be very difficult for you to find the factor. So for example, if 2x minus 1 was a factor, then you wouldn't be able to find it using guess and check.